Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on Atari 2600, and let's take a trip to the fair, or the carnival if you will. This game is called Carnival, yes, published by Coleco in 1982. Uh, also came out in the arcade, so this is a conversion, which was developed by Gremlin, and published by Sega a couple of years before in 1980. So essentially it's a shooting gallery, where you must uh, shoot all the stuff and conserve as many bullets as you can. It's one to two players, but I am the only player here. So we'll play in one player to see how the thing uh, goes. Now, if you had this one back in the day, let me know. Good music, first of all. So, it's three rows of stuff. If a duck gets to the bottom row, it will then fly at you. Uh, so, you know, shoot everything. Now, we reviewed us, like, one port of this on the Spectrum called Quackers, which wasn't too bad, I quite like that, and already it plays similar to this. Now, down the bottom there, you can see there's my guy uh, with, a, with a, a rifle, I suppose. Is that them all gone? No. Okay. Now, the arcade one, after you shot all the targets, I believe you had to hit a teddy bear over and over. My bullets are represented with that blue bar down the, the very bottom there. Every time I shoot, it'll go down one. And you see the blocks which come on the screen periodically, depicting the number eight, represent more bullets. Right, so I think I've done that stage. I think. Um, I'm not sure I have to shoot that thing in the middle as well, like the pipes coming in. Now that cross means um, end, end of the bonus round, I think. Anyway, I don't know, but essentially shoot as much stuff as you can. Now, if you're liking your Atari 2600 stuff, uh, then we do have a playlist, so click on that. If you click on my username, oh, here he comes a duck, he's dead. Uh, click on my username, then the playlist tab, and then I'll take you to lists of other games. Hooray! Uh, so it's quite straightforward, this. Doesn't seem to be a great deal of variety at the moment. I like the sounds, it's like a, a bell sort of like sound every time you hit something. So we're shooting rabbits, we're shooting ducks. I'm sure this, uh, I'm sure it can't be as basic as this, maybe it is. Maybe there's something I'm missing, so I'm going to be out of bullets now, so that's the end of that. So one would guess that I either missed too many times, or I didn't conserve my bullets quite well uh, enough. Um, it's aimed at young um, um, players, this one. Uh, there's a game called Duck Shoot on the Commodore 64, which might be a conversion of this as well, which I need to come to. So it's okay, but it's just a little bit too basic uh, for me. Even as a kid, I don't think it would have held my interest a, a great deal. I'd rather have a game of pinball uh, than uh, this. But anyway, right, so we're shooting, I presume, that owls. I don't know what they've done to upset us. Come on, Nick, you can do this, can you? I don't know if I want to, to be fair. It's a little bit boring, but for 1982, I suppose you would have found it a little bit... You know, 1982, what's around 1982? Not too much. In the UK, there's only, like, three TV channels, and with bad tuning in, and trouble with the versicles hold sometimes, and someone walking around the room holding the aerial, trying to get a better picture. So, uh, put this on instead. I suppose it would be quite comparable, then, so it wouldn't have been too bad for a bit of shooty action uh, straight away. There's some more bullets for me, so I saw the blue arrow go up there. Now, let me know if you did have this. What's the f biggest uh, t time you had on the game? You're not going to have as long games on this as Enduro, I wouldn't have thought. So, it's the early 80s. You're probably a kid, unless you wasn't born then. If you weren't born then, comment below. If you're not born now, comment below. Hooray! Right, uh, I, I think I should hit those eights last, maybe, when the blue bit's on its very lowest. That could be a strategy. It's not like we're going to get too much variety here, apart from the three things coming down and the flying ducks. If a duck gets to the bottom level, it will eat or take away some of your valuable ammunition. Boof, boof. Now, on the top level, occasionally there's a minus and a load of red dots, or a plus and a load of red dots. I'm sure I should be doing something a bit better there, or utilising them in some crazy way. I haven't got the instructions to this, I'm just playing it as I see it. So let me know if there's something special I should be doing with the stuff in the top left. Right, um, now they seem to be going slightly quicker now, so maybe I'm doing something. Um, on the arcade version, you have to shoot pipes, that's the end of that. You have to shoot pipes uh, as well, and I can't see where, where they are. Unless that's that thing on the top right, I don't know. It's a crazy world we're living in. Okay, so, you know, I think I've pretty much shown you all the gameplay I can possibly show within my meagre skills. If you played the arcade version, then well done you. It's not something I've uh, ever seen. Right, so they're going a bit slow this time. So let's conserve ammunition by only shooting the eights when we get down to the bare minimum. Try not to miss, which I just did there. Oh, come on. Right, that's shot that duck. Shot that duck. 
Shot that rabbit, shot that rabbit. They're not real animals, you know, they're just uh, bits of graphics. In the fairground, they would have been bits of metal. I think that thing counting down is if I'd hit all the uh, all the owl targets in a certain amount of time for a bonus. So that could be how I'm losing my weapons. That could that that could be it. Right. Um. Yes. Bullets not looking good. So that's a few more bullets. There's a few more bullets. Right. Next lot. Next lot on. Buff. Oh man. I don't know if I'm doing good or bad here. I prefer Quackers on the Spectrum, yet to play Duck Shoot on the um, Commodore 64. I think my favourite shooting thing is um, Hyper Sports on any any system. We had the, the Duck Shoot at the start, uh, and maybe Daily Thompson Super Test on the uh, the Spectrum, the shooting at the start there. I think they're my favourite shooty ones. There was a, um, a homebrew on the Spectrum called uh, Angry Birds, which just had a, a shooting uh, element. Uh, they're just uh, straight up, so it was scaled down from the app. I didn't mind that, although that was very basic. So, you know, for this game, then, it hasn't aged particularly well. Might have a lot of nostalgia for people. There's not a great deal of variety. Uh, back in the day, would have made a change from watching uh, whatever was on the telly back in 1982, but I don't think there's any real reason to go back and play it uh, today, unless you had it back in the, in the time and want to relive your uh, childhood. But I'm, I'm struggling with the thing. Generally, I, I like Atari 2600 games, and though, you know, this isn't bad, it's a good example of the era, I, it's not holding my interest a great deal. Yeah, so you, you put what you think about the games, really, you don't have to agree with the person that's doing the commentary on YouTube, um, form your own opinions of what you think, uh, you might want to track it down yourself and play it as well, get a bit of an idea. Uh, as you can see here, I'm running out of bullets again, I want a number of eight to come across, but there isn't, so I haven't got enough bullets to shoot all of these. Maybe there's a cheat for maybe a crazy machine gun where you can blast everything away. At the proper fairgrounds when the shooting thing was around, they, they banned people bringing their own machine guns because they considered that uh, cheating. If you try to win like a, a teddy bear or something else worth less than the money, it probably costs you to have a go at the game in the first place. Yes, should I have one last go? It's beyond my better judgment, but maybe I will. Now, if I was a, a, a young kid walking down the seafront past some arcades after a bag of chips and uh, a, a pint of beer, which I shouldn't have had, I would have had great fun on this. Me and my mates all crowded round an arcade cabinet, uh, all shouting stuff at me and maybe throwing a few half-eaten donuts at the screen. Um, some beating on our backs and uh, generally making a load of noise. So on that on that appeal, yes, great. Although I would have liked to maybe play hard driving after that as well. But yeah, okay, it's acceptable in that regard then. We're all eating chips, we're all drinking beer, we're all underage, and we're all throwing donuts at the screen, or at least fragments of them. We're being too loud, uh, scaring the, the local population, and probably seagulls thinking, cool, they're annoying. Right. Buff, buff, right. Three blows of bullets. Is this the right way to do it? I don't know. Right, let's, right there's three of these left. Right. Um, let's try and conserve them. I was hoping some other targets had come on the screen. Uh, I think that timer down was if I cleared them all, but I haven't done. But I've got loads of bullets left, and here comes some more ducks and a rabbit. Man. Yeah, the Spectrum version Quackers played quite a bit different. Um, because you had, you had to shoot a turtle, uh, it was like mini games. This seems to be going on forever and ever, but maybe there's something I'm not quite getting, and it does divide itself into different bits anyway. No timer ticking down that I can I can make out. Maybe there's different modes you can access, but I just saw one player and two player really. Buff, bam, bam, red. If you're still here, then well done. Uh, this isn't about expert gameplay. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you watch this far in, and uh, if you have subscribed, then massive thanks to you. I know a few of you have been here well, a good few years. So thank you for that, and huge, huge thank you to the members. And I attempt to review everything ever. Most popular stuff on the channel is most definitely ZX Spectrum, but I like to look at a few other things as well. Keep a little bit of a variety. Variety is a spice of life. And, um, um, uh, paprika is the spice of a flavour of Pingles. I was trying to think of a flavour of curry then, I couldn't think of any. What's what's there in a what's in a, a chicken korma? No, I don't have korma, I'm a tough man. I have, I have super bindaloo, super hot, super hot. Um, well, maybe. Uh, I, I, no, no meal should make you cry all the way through, that's what I see. Biff! Right, how are we doing here? We're not doing particularly uh, excitedly well. There's more rabbits come on. 
Uh, I don't think the fairground owner will be a bit disappointed if I was playing the game this length of time. He'd probably only make about 50p an hour, and it will say, Nick, can you uh, move along? Move along. Move along. Woof, woof. Uh, yeah, it's not wild gum, man, is it? As Marty McFly played in the cafe 80s, which I, I need to review if there's such a game. Wild gum, man. Did, 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 did. Um, red. Biff. Shannon. Oh, man. No one calls him mad. Well, I hope you like to have a look at that one. You pretty much know what I think of the game. It's quite basic. It represents the uh, arcade cabinet quite well. Uh, but it's just a little, little bit dull uh, for my mind. But what else could they have done? So that was Carnival on the Atari 2600, posted by Coleco in 1982, based on that arcade cabinet from Sega in 1980. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. And I, I love seeing what you think of the games and your experiences as well, if you have some. And until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.